The 10 knowledge areas. Project managers need to be knowledgeable in 10 areas of project management. This is sort of like being a mechanic on a car. If you think about it, cars have engines, transmissions, wheels, brakes, and a mechanic has to know all of that. They can't just know about engines. They have to know everything. And they also need to know how does it all work together to make that car move. The first knowledge area that we want to talk about is integration management. And again, I used the word integration just a minute ago. This is where we take the big picture view of the project and we understand what's going on on the project across all of the five process groups that we previously talked about of initiating, planning, executing, monitoring, controlling, and closing. So on my chart here, the very first line represents when you're going to do certain things on the project. The second line is what you're going to do. And the third is what is created by what you're doing. So if you look at initiating, during the initiating or the kicking off of the project, a project manager needs to develop a project charter. It creates a document called the project charter. It's our high level document that uh, guides the project. Once I've got a charter, I can plan the project and that requires developing a comprehensive project management plan that covers everything we need to know and do. And that produces the project management plan. Then executing is about carrying out the work. So a couple of main things we do there is we direct and manage the work of our team. We make sure the team knows what they need to do and when they need to do it. And they've uh, got all the materials that they need to accomplish the work. We also manage all the project knowledge. We need to make sure that we're capturing lessons learned, that we understand uh, how to use the expertise of our team on the project. So executing produces deliverables. Those are the items that you need to create for the customer. And managing project knowledge generally is considered to create lessons learned. Monitoring and controlling the project is all about comparing what you plan to do on the project to what's actually happening. And during monitoring and controlling, we need to be able to report about our project health and to make forecasts about the future of the project based on what we see happening on the project. We also need to perform integrated change control, which means that we're going to experience change on the project. Stakeholders will request change. Sometimes change is inevitable as a, as a factor of the environment or uh, project circumstances. And we need to make sure that we control that um, and it doesn't get chaotic. So monitoring controlling should produce work performance reports that we can show to stakeholders so they're aware of uh, what's happening on the project and the health and approved change requests, a coordinated uh, and approved uh, a change that we're going to allow our team to now implement on the project. Once all the project work is done, we can close out the project. That means all the, all the deliverables have been created. And closing out the project means that we're going to have an end item. For example, if you build a house, the end item is the completed house. And we need to transition that end item over to our customer so that they can uh, uh, use it because we're done with the project. Now we need to give that uh, to the customer for uh, their benefit. So integration management is really the key role that project managers play on a project. We should have the big picture view of projects at all times. And we need to make choices about a lot of things like about choices about resources, competing demands between stakeholders, uh, different priorities, alternative approaches to doing project work, tailoring our processes to the specific project and managing interdependencies like that car, the, the transmission and the engine have an interdependency upon each other. And so your project has many of those. So integration management is really about coordinating everything to achieve a successful project outcome.